everybody, welcome to Zavalia. Have you ever had that moment that you just want to wind down, relax, and really enjoy your weekend after a very long week of doing jam-packed various things from errands, activities, housework, work in your office, anything? You know what? You really deserve a break and some time for yourself. It is totally normal. So come and join me and wind down for the day and also try this at home. So who knows you will like it too. For day one, the previous day before you actually have your self-healing lavender facial spa, let's prepare some gemstones for an added home spa feel. You can use any gemstones, but for this video, purple fluoride is a perfect fit. In my palms are purple fluoride natural gemstones. Fluoride is composed of calcium fluoride and crystallizes in well-formed isometric cubes, clusters, nodules, or in massive form. The purple fluoride is a symbol of peace, mental equity, and balance. We will use this as a part of the facial spa the next day after cooling it in the fridge for one night. Before putting it in the fridge, let's soak the purple fluoride pieces in rose water and cotton pads. Rose water is calming for the skin, and since these gemstones will touch our skin, let's boost with the calming effect through this water. Can't wait for the cool sensation of the stones the next day. Now it's time to make the lavender honey mask. This mask smells so calming, and it will last you two times applications. You will need dried lavender. I am using English lavender. And you will also need a half teaspoon of rose water, two tablespoons of raw honey, and one teaspoon of lemon juice. The mixture of the all-round goodness of honey, the energizing efforts of lemon, the calming effects of rose water, and the soothing effects of lavender will mesmerize and send you away to nirvana. In your senses, of course. This English lavender, or Lavandula angustifolia, isn't completely dry. And when you scrub it on your face, you will smell the scent and feel a slight oiliness in its crispy texture. It helps with anti-aging, dry skin, it's antibacterial and anti-inflammation, it has antioxidants that nourishes your skin, and it is a great aromatherapy and stress relief. You'll be one sleeping beauty in no time. Let's wash our face and get rid of any impurities. Use any facial wash that you love. Massage your face in an upward circular direction for an anti-aging effect. We can only try, right? <laughs> Here I am using Liz Earl's muslin cloth soaked in warm water to give a warm, gentle wipe to my face. You can also use any other facial cloth. My skin feels thoroughly cleansed using this method. Don't forget to pat dry your face with a facial towel, especially for your face. Whilst you wait for the goodness of the mask to seep in the epidermis of your skin for approximately 10 to 15 minutes, find some calming things to do, such as reading a few pages of your favorite book or playing soothing music as you close your eyes. Still remember the purple fluoride gemstones? Take it out of the fridge because it's time to use it as a part of the facial spa ritual. Out of the five pieces I have, I am taking the first two and pressing it gently on my face. This is natural gemstones, so be gentle. Unless you're using tumble stones, then you don't have to be as gentle. Press it on the pressure points of the face with an upwards motion 
when doing so to pull the skin upward slightly. The gemstones will absorb your body heat. Repeat with the other stones that are still cool until you feel that you're done. Now it's time to glow up your face with some serum. You can use any that you have, but here I'm using my favorite Natural Pacifics Fresh Herb Origin Serum. I love this one because it makes my skin feel healthier and bouncier. Next step, let's slather on Laniere's Sleeping Mask in Lavender. It's perfect for this theme. This will deeply moisturize the face and calm you for the whole day of your relaxed weekend or if you're doing this near bedtime before you go to sleep. Indonesia and originally half Sundanese, one of Indonesia's ethnic groups. To wrap up this spa session, Bajigur or coconut latte is one of my most favorite traditional beverage and it comes from West Java where most of the Sundanese people are. This is a perfect blend of coconut milk, ginger, palm sugar and other additional herbs. Drink it while it's warm and get ready to feel fuzzy inside as you wrap up your facial spa session. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know how it went for you. So do try this at home. Find the ingredients, they're easy to find. For anything else, you can find it on the internet online, do some online shopping, or go to your nearest grocery store. And I hope that with this video, it will also help you to wind down and just stop the acceleration and put on some brakes for once in a while. And really indulge in the simplicities of life. After you try this at home, let me know how it impacts you. Sometimes the simple things it's just very relaxing and mind soothing so let me know how it went for you by commenting down below don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye